This is a Truth Transforms Truth Nugget. A daily dose of truth for your daily transformation. Welcome back to another Truth Nugget as we continue Truth Nuggets in the book of Proverbs. Today I'm going to read you an article I wrote from Proverbs chapter 21, verse 21. So let's get started. I've titled this Longing to Be with Our Mighty King. Proverbs 21, verse 1. The king's heart is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he will. This mighty and powerful king wouldn't dare be approached by those under his rule. Nobody would dare challenge the king or speak dishonorably about the king anywhere where it could be heard. But God is Lord of all. Jesus is King of Kings. The King is sovereign over his nation. He is the ultimate ruler. He is all-powerful in that nation. There is no one that rises above his authority, and nobody dares challenge his authority without consequences. And not only is he all-powerful in that nation, his power is known and declared among all rival nations. The king of a mighty nation is feared throughout the world. However, the Lord, Yahweh, is sovereign over all. He is the one that put the earth into existence. He is the one that gave this king life and allows this king to continue breathing. The Lord Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, reigns on his eternal throne and does as he wishes, as declared in Psalm 115, 13. Our God is in the heavens. He does all that he pleases. He is not surprised by the evil deeds of wicked doers, wicked rulers. He is not amazed by the righteous acts of just kings. He is not taken by surprise when the king makes an edict that changes the course of an entire nation. There is not a single fact that is outside of God's knowledge, and there is not a single circumstance that is outside of God's control. This is incredible news for the believer. God is far more powerful than the king. God is far mightier than the king. The king is a man. He is merely a man. If the king does not fear God, he can be humbled in an instant like King Nebuchadnezzar was when he was driven to insanity and later restored. God holds the king's God holds the king's heart in his hand and guides it as he wills. It says that the king's heart is a stream of water in the hand of the Lord. He turns it wherever he will. Just like the farmers build canals to control the stream of water and redirect it, God can do this whenever and however he decides to do it with the ruler of any nation. But whatever God does, it will all be a part of his plan. What does this mean for you today? It means that what is happening right now in this world and in your life is far bigger than you can imagine. It is not something that humans can wrap their finite brains around. It takes the infinite, all-powerful, all-sovereign God to understand everything that has happened and will happen. He knows how it all fits together in his perfect plan, but make no mistake about it, it is part of his plan. And many things happen because of the fall. People sin against each other and do terrible things because of the wickedness in their hearts. However, God is still working out his plan. There will be justice. There will be redemption for the believer. There will be eternal bliss. There will be no more crying and no more pain. If you are in Christ Jesus, you will be in eternal bliss with your Savior, Jesus Christ. So remember that, you are, so remember that we are just passing through this world. James tells us that this life is only a mist. This is only a small fraction of our eternal destiny. Trials come in this life and trials pass. Some trials stay longer than others, and some people seem to never stop dealing with trials 
and suffering. But this is not our home. We are longing for the return of Christ. We are longing for our home with Christ. We are eagerly awaiting the return of our Lord and Savior our time with, and our time with Him in eternal bliss. Thank you for joining me for today's Truth Nugget. If you don't mind giving this video a like and subscribing if you're new here, that will help push this out to more people. I pray it is a blessing to you. God bless you, and I will see you tomorrow. Truth Nuggets are a ministry of preaching for God's glory. To find out more about other resources available and ways that you can support the ministry, be sure to visit preachingforgodsglory.org.